And any rhetoric you're hearing from the government at the moment about growth is entirely that. It's more to do with this austerity campaign than any genuine effort to do a jobs stimulus package. And that's what they need to do. And that they have the resources there to do that, to but set themselves against austerity and for growth in a genuine way. Simon Coveney said that uh, we would more likely need a second bailout if we vote no. What would you say to that? Well, you know, you have all these conflicting, confusing messages from uh, the, the government. The fact is, the only block on us getting a second bailout, if we need it, is the government voting for this uh, so-called blackmail laws. The government has a veto on it, and we, we just need to be very, very clear about this. This. Uh, stability mechanism is not yet a done deal. In order for it to become legal, each member state and all of the European Union, all 27 member states, have to vote for it. So it's in the hands of Andy Kenny, the Taoiseach, and the Tanishta, whether or not, into the doll they trip and vote to prevent this state from getting uh, access to another bailout of Union. That's, that's the key and big question. Do you think people should vote no then? For a number of reasons. One, in you know, a time of great recession, trying to cut back and reconfigure and cut the deficit and so on and so forth, is a matter for government decision. This treaty makes it for life. That's what we're voting for in perpetuity, a continuation of what we've been experiencing for the last four years. Remember, I think there have been six budgets which have all been austerity budgets, and the situation has got worse than this time. Secondly, whatever you think of governments, by virtue of elections, you can get rid of a government, or re-elect the government, and that's what you want to see. If you hand this power over to unaccountable uh, people at the Commission, then you have no say in future times. And secondly, you're giving to the European Court of Justice the ability to come in here, not just to run things, but also to police and to fine the state. And then the third thing which a lot of people, uh, and we get this out in the course of the campaign, our buy-in to this so-called uh, stability mechanism is going to cost us 11 billion. Sometimes the government presents this as if it was you know, an act of divine mercy by our partners in the uh, European Union. So I, I, if you believe in growth, if you believe in jobs, if you believe that you can't cut your way through recession, then you have to vote. No, it's the only sensible, sane thing to do. Okay. Only just very stand like of that. Well, it's another tax. You know, and the government all the time is uh, casting up the Sinn Féin of like, what we do in the North and totally misrepresenting uh, that. Let's be very, very clear on this issue. Sinn Féin had responsibility for that ministry. The British Tory government tried to bring in privatisation. We stood against it. All their parties in the executive wanted to bring in modern charges. We stood against that as well. So it's another way of doing it. Oh, it's great. How are you doing? How are you doing? Tell him to make sure he votes. Oh, yeah. Tell him to make sure he votes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I was right. Perfect. Don't forget. Yeah. How are you? 